Guess who this is? Yeah, that's Jeff with Mr. JD's World. Today, we're going to go to breakfast. And I'm going to take you along with me. Hope you enjoy. There's a little bit of the park headquarters right there. We're not going to pull in and circle through. Oh, Chiesel Space and Campground's open. Well, that's cool. That means somebody's gone home. Chiesel Space and Campground is probably my favorite campground in the whole park. It's way up in the mountains. You see the store here to the left? That's my store. There we go. That's where I work every day. Let's take another clip here. There we go. Very neat. Very nice little retro place. Not much of a service station anymore right now. It's not much more in the snack shack. With gas pumps. People, when you come out to the national parks, drive the speed limit. Those speed limits are here for a reason. It's so tempting to cut loose, and especially if you have a sports car or a motorcycle. It's so tempting to take these roads on two wheels. Pun intended. But it's not safe. It's not safe at all. There are animals here. Yeah, and some of the humans that come out to visit are considered animals as well. Back over here are the Chisels Mountains. And that's where breakfast is calling. There's a little square chimney type mountain right there in the middle. There it is, right, right there in the middle. That is uh, Casa Grande. And that is where we're going for breakfast. So, y'all talk amongst yourselves, and I'll catch up with you once we get on the, uh, the Basin Road. Here we go. The window clean enough for you guys? I hope so. Chisos Mountains. Big Bend National Park encompasses the entire mountain range. I think it's the only national park that does have an entire mountain range within its borders. Isn't this beautiful? I hope you don't mind long, monotonous, boring videos of just someone driving through nowhere. But I gotta tell you, this place is stellar. Right here in Texas. During the summer season, when it's raining, there are waterfalls cascading. Well, let it put it this way. There are pour-offs cascading off of all of those mountains, all those jagged edges. Multiple ones, too. There's some pretty famous pour-offs out here. One hiking trail takes you down to the window, where there's a famous pour-off there. The window is not a window. It's, I'll show it to you a little bit later. Wow, these daggers are sure blooming today, aren't they? Look at all these straight up posts out here. Wow, it's 
forest of uh, what would you call that? Stamen? What's that sign say? Quick, what does it say? Yep, Baron Cooter Country. There's Casa Grande directly above us and in front of us. By the way, this road is uh, seven miles long from the time we turned off of Highway 118. This is the Chisos Basin Road. The way the morning sun is hitting, it's just spectacular against these red rocks, isn't it? When you get ready to come out to Big Bend, do some research. It is not a pet-friendly park. Pets are best left at home. There are no trails you can take your animals on. Well, in fact, it's not a bicycle-friendly park either. There are no trails for bicycles. Your animals cannot be left unattended. And that means in your car or in your RV or in your tent. So you have to keep them with you at all times. And your animal cannot go anywhere that your car cannot go. Yeah. So if you want to walk your dog, it's down the side of the road. You want to go on a hike with your dog, it's going to be down the side of the road. Now there are several backcountry roads, primitive, undeveloped, that you can drive on. Dogs and animals are okay there too. Because remember, wherever your car can go, your pet can go. Getting up in here. We're going to be going up real high, and then we're going to turn and go down into the basin. And the basin is exactly what the word says. It's a bowl way up here in the top of these volcanic mountains. No stopping on the side of the road, no parking on the vegetation. There's a real nice trail up here called the Lost Mine Trail, famous trail, beautiful trail. Some of the best vistas I have ever seen. There's the sign for it right there. But there's not a lot of parking. In fact, there's not a lot of parking for anything you want to do up here. So be prepared to either come back at another time or carpool. Here we are. Pay attention here. You're going to see the window any second. There it is, right there. That over here to the side, that's the window. Oops, let me look at it later, okay? They have some size limits on vehicles up here. I think it's uh, no RVs longer than 24 feet, no trailers longer than 20, or vice versa. One or the other, or both. I don't know. I cannot drive my RV up here. And whenever the camp hosts come up here in their RVs, they have to close the road. Oh my God, I've just spilled my tea all over my feet. I got wet socks down. See, I should have been paying attention to my cup of hot tea. Instead of paying attention to y'all. Oh boy. It's nice and warm. 
that is a all too familiar feeling. There's the window right there in the center of your screen. There's the camp cam the, the campground, the basin campground. Here we go. Here we go. Check this out, folks. That beautiful. Here we go. And bam. We're uh, ascending down into the basin now. And we're going to crawl back up a little bit over there to the lodge where breakfast awaits. And it's 10 miles for me to go have my meals. 10 miles in one direction, 20 mile round trip. So you can probably understand that I don't take advantage of the meal options too often. I do on my days off and I might on a day that I get off early come up for dinner or a day that I might go in late I might stop in here for breakfast. It's unlikely. All right, here we are. I'm going to take you a little tour around the parking lot here. Right off to the right here is going to be the visitor center and the basin camp store. And then this is the lodge rooms that you see with the red roofs. This is called uh, the Chisos Mountains Lodge. Again, the windows directly in front of us there, which is the sunset view. Here we go. Emory Peak off in that direction there. Sun in your eye. Sorry. Okay. Take a little tour up here to the parking lot. Sure would be nice if I can get a curb spot, but that's okay if I don't. We have to close this parking lot from time to time because of the bear activity. There's a little green loop. A little, oh, there's a parking space there. Um, this green plume right here that you see there, that's where the little mama bears like to bring their cubs to play on the rocks. It's like a little gymnasium in there for them. See if you can enjoy a little bit of the view. I'm keeping both of my hands on the steering wheel. I'm sorry, I'm not holding the camera. Okay. There's a lot of conversation going on right now, but what's going to happen with this lodge? We think it needs a major recall. That's the front door where you would go in and check in. And we're gonna back into our spot here. And we've cleared the handicap parking. And that car just parked illegally because it says absolutely no parking between signs, but that guy walking across the curb there is privileged. Okay, I might catch up with you guys a little bit later, but I'm going to go have me some breakfast. Bye, y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed the ride with me today. I hope that I can take you on a few more rides in the future and give you a little snippet of what it's like living in a national park. Enjoy your day.